there. The way functions work is that whatever's in parentheses, you're going to be putting in place of x on the right side of the equation. So f of x you can think of as the, the y value or the output, whereas whatever's in the parentheses, that's your x value, that's your input, that's your independent variable. So if we wanted to evaluate f of 2 for this function, that just means that we're, whatever uh, is in the parentheses is going to go in place of x on the right side. So you can see this is going to be 2, and we're going to put 2 in place of x. We're going to square it, minus 3 times 2 plus 1. So the main thing here is to be careful with the order of operations. You want to do the PEMDAS, the parentheses first, exponents, multiplication, division, and then addition, subtraction last. So we've got 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, minus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1. That comes out to 8 minus 6 is 2, plus 1, which is 3. So we have f of 2 is equal to 3. So the 2 is our input, 3 is our output, and you've got it. So let's go to another example, number 2 here. We've got g of x equals negative 5x minus 10. We want to find out what g of negative 3 is. Now, when you're using functions, you want to be really careful that you put your quantity that you're substituting in parentheses. You want to treat it as a group. So that's an important concept. So here we've got negative 5, and then in place of x, we're going to replace x with negative 3, and that's it. So all we have to do is simplify. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15 minus 10, which comes out to 5, and you've got it. So let's go to example three, a little bit more challenging here. We've got f of x equals 4x squared minus x, and we've got f of x plus h. So we want to evaluate when uh, x is actually x plus h, the quantity x plus h. So same concept, whatever's here in parentheses goes in for x on the right side of the equation. And again, you can have more than one x. So we've got four, and we're replacing x with x plus h, the quantity squared minus x plus h. Notice that I'm putting that quantity in parentheses, treating it as a group. Now we just have to go back and simplify. x plus h squared is really like x plus h twice, okay, because you're squaring it. You've got two of those. And if you FOIL or do the distributive property, you get x squared plus x times h, and then you have h times x plus h squared, all multiplied by 4. And then we're going to distribute the negative here. We get negative x minus h. So now I'm going to distribute the 4 into the parentheses. And we've got, let's see, 4x squared plus 4xh plus another 4xh. Notice that multiplication is commutative. You can uh, write this either order. Plus 4h squared minus x minus h. <clears throat> so if we combine like terms, you can see that we've got 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared minus x minus h, and that's our final result for f of x plus h. Okay, excuse me, the last example, number four here, we've got a slightly different type of a function problem. It says m of x equals x squared minus three. Find out what x is when m of x equals six. So this is a little bit different in the sense that they're telling us what the output is. m of x is kind of like the y value, or the output is six. So I'm gonna replace this whole quantity here with six, and we're gonna find out what x is, what the input is. So if we add three to both sides, just like solving a normal equation, we've got x squared is equal to nine. If we take the square root of both sides to get the x by itself, you actually get two answers, positive or negative three. So remember, when you take the square root of both sides, you're gonna get two answers, plus or minus, and you've got it. So great job. If you wanna find out uh, more information about functions, specifically how to work with the difference quotient, which involves you know, evaluating functions, check out the video that I did right there. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, hit the circle subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.